Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Sunday Breakdowns with FSM. Um, so following on from last week's live Q&A session, we're going to get straight into the charts this today. I'm looking at Euro dollar first on the weekly time frame. As you can see here, um, we are looking for, or well, it's, it's in a bearish trend, in a downtrend. So we've got our Fibonacci from the high to the low. Um, so price did pull back and is being capped at the 38.2. I'm still bearish on this uh, currency pair, despite uh, last week's candle being having a higher low than the week before. If we go to the daily time frame, it's a bit clearer. So on the daily time frame, what we do have is um, price now having a third touch of this outer descending trend line, showing that this is now valid. We can look for shorts from here. And if we go to the daily, we can see this um, other trend line in the inside. But as you can see, also looking quite bearish on the daily time frame as well. Um, I think Monday's candle, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, so price is lower from where it did start the week um, with a nice um, what's called tweezer top here. And then price just moving down past the trend lines. Going down to the four hour time frame, this is where we did mark out this uh, trend line here. So as you can see, point one. 0.2.3 price did break touch i believe on the one hour i think it was and then it's now continuing lower um so we did get a pullback into uh, a nice area um in this level just here it's not a major level but you can mark out um, many levels of support and resistance just when you're trading on the lower time frames so as you can see just took a little bit of a dip higher and then came nice and lower so that is euro dollar we're still looking for a bearish continuation if we look at this outer trend line now so price did um come back into here so we can look to short in and around the open we'd like to see maybe another touch of this trend line up here um so a level or a trade we'd look for is maybe something around here would be ideal then we could have our stops around 40 pips um if you want to be more conservative, I will show you a, a more conservative approach. But this is the trade we look for. With first target would actually be um, here, so three point three to one risk reward. Then down here at the the um, first point of the trend uh, the trend line here, and that gives a six and a half to one. And then um, targets from there, following on, just go with the Fibonacci. So. Our main target would actually be down at 107, um, 104, sorry, 75. So around about, around about here for a 10 and a half to one. Um, a more conservative approach would be to have your stop loss above this level here, above this high. So on or above the high just here. So pretty much there. Um, and that gives a five to one or if you're going for this second target gives you a three to one so that's what we're looking for in euro dollar um, if we now go to euro yen next I think these are the euro pairs are looking more interesting this week than anything else uh, more dollar and and euro so um, if we go to euro yen on the weekly time frame what we can see is uh, price did form a sort of mini sort of um, higher low so low higher low higher low if you go to the daily it will be a bit clearer but this does indicate that price is failing to push down to levels it did reach around 115.90 um, so we're looking for price to have a bit of a tick higher maybe to this let me clear my charts or delete these to make it easier but around the level that I will leave um, so looking for price to tick higher towards those previous levels up here would be a nice level for it to touch so 119.20 okay if we go down to the daily time frame now what we're seeing is yeah see we've got a low a high low and another high low here looking for longs around where price is now that will be um, an ideal snow up to um you know, first of all, this swing high here at one nineteen hundred, and then up at one twenty one fifteen. So, going to the four hour, we did well looking to trade it down. So as you can see, we had these trend lines previously marked on to trade it down from these high levels. But 
price is now failing to push below this low here so what we'll look for is a reversal pattern maybe head and shoulders we've got the or inverted head and shoulders sorry we've got the left shoulder the head and then the right shoulder can come somewhere in and around there if i just look for um the drawing tool i can then draw something on the charts for you so if we've got that's the shoulder head come up shoulder again and then move forward so if we get a move up pull back down into that area that i just did mention that will be a nice scenario so around here if that does happen uh, we can get a trade up to in around these highs so something looking like up to let's say here's a safe bet stop loss behind um i personally would put it behind the head or just there gives a f uh, 4.5 to 1 it's a nice tight 40 pip stop loss 180 pips um take profit another scenario would be to, sh to long it at the neckline so the neckline will be here so something just to make it simple something around about around about there so with this we would then put it so once it does do this move here break above maybe get a pullback into this level and then at the stop loss um, here you can have two options if you're still targeting here you can have it you know around about where it's 30 pips 35 pips or so 35 will be safer um, if you want to be a bit more aggressive but then if you want to go a bit more conservative you can place it um, around the head again but that's quite too wide so I wouldn't do that the widest I would go is around here at around 60 pips that gives a just over a 2 to 1 um, but then again as we are going for long term sort of targets that will be the first target around there and then you can if it does break above sort of this level here look for pullback and then get long up to these highs um, where we then reassess the entire um, long term target or medium term target on this currency pair right and finally we're going to move on to um the final pair for the episode what we're going to do is we will look at um, gold right so gold having said that or we should say that we are still bullish on dollar at the moment um so price um, as I said before not doing much in the month of March but we were unable to get a much bigger push above um, the previous high from February so looking for that is a sort of a bit of a bearish sign and once again last week's candle did close as a swing failure so price didn't get to close above this high here showing that it's pushed above but the, the, the bears did push it back down so looking for price to then come short from here um, so as it is it does look quite bullish in terms of like swings and um however if you look at the bigger picture we can see the evidence that price does want to come back for you know maybe a nice pullback if not then go for a reversal so um if i just mark out some levels here so there's a nice level there and then we would just watch in around here to see so you can see there's some wicks in and around here that can be a first target and then second target will be uh, down at 14.55 right on the daily a uh, nice bearish candle for on friday price is showing that it's, it did sort of consolidate uh, around these levels and looking to push lower now so what we can look for is a bit of a push lower a pullback into there's not really anything clear in these levels here but um once price does break lower showing its hand it will be much easier to predict where um where it would be a nice level for it to uh pull back to to continue down lower okay and that does line up with that high there right so that is what we're looking at at the moment this I wouldn't say this is valid, but we did have a lot of um, turbulence because of the whole coronavirus stuff in around this level, so we can still watch it around here. Um, if we go to the daily time frame, yeah, that level does line up quite nicely. 
Um, break lower, pull back, short down to what I did say before. So if I do, I will place it just at the high there. And my main target would be here. Um, well, my first target. My first target would be here. I will then watch uh, the 1613 level for some um, some support that it might not let price push lower. But then, um, yeah, main level is here. So just for a two to one, roughly, just under two to one. And then um, main target would be down here is for 3.4 to one. So um, our bias is we're heavily, heavily bullish on the dollar. Um, and then so looking to um, short gold looking to uh, short euro dollar and also with euro yen looking to buy that as it did show evidence that it can't push lower at the moment um, yeah that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode everyone uh, we hope you did enjoy today's episode please do leave your feedback on um, what you want us to analyze and also how you think these videos are what we can do to to bring more value to you um, also please keep commenting on how you found last week's um, live Q&A or live analysis video. We did do that with some of our um, FSM community members. Um, if you would like to be part of the community, please do look in the description of this video for ways to get involved. And um, yeah, look out for us on the socials. We're posting a lot of things to help you guys um, get involved in investing and trading and also um, get involved in learning on how to do these, what we do here. So um, yeah, that's, that's it for today, guys. We hope you do have a wonderful trading week and uh, stay safe. Thank you. Bye.